Happy Labor Day, everyone. I'm Amy Schrader with Remax Real Estate 10. I'm here for your Monday market update. So we just finished up the month of August and real estate in Hamlin County is still moving. Um, we got 97 new listings, so new homes that came on the market during the month of August. Of those 97, one of them was pulled off the market for whatever reason. Um, five of those have already closed and 25 of those homes are currently under contract. We had a total of 81 homes that went under contract during the month, 57 homes that sold and closed during the month of August. The average sales price on those was around 332. Those homes had 32 days on the market and the list to sell price ratio was 93.1%. We're going to come back and talk a little bit more about list to sell price ratio here in just a moment. Uh, the median sales price was 280,000, 17 days on the market list to sell price ratio of 97.5%. We had 19 homes that went under contract during the month of August that came back on the market for whatever reason. Um, one of those has already closed and an additional nine are back under contract. We saw 74 price changes during the month of August. The average price drop was 23,650. Those homes had an average of 55 days on the market um, the median price drop was 15000 That time on the market was 50 days. Of those homes, five have been pulled off the market altogether. One of them went under contract and closed, and an additional 15 went under contract after doing a price drop. So we talked a little bit about list to sell price ratio. What exactly is that? What does it mean, and why is it significant for you? Well, let's talk about that. The list to sell price ratio looks at what the sold price of a home is versus what it was originally listed at. Okay. So what percentage of the list price did the seller get when they got to closing? <clears throat> so if we look at time on the market versus list to sell price ratio, we had 37 of those 57 homes that sold that went under contract and sold within the first 30 days on the market. That was 65%. Um, those homes had a 97 and a half percent sold price to list price ratio. So for easy numbers sake, let's say their list price was a hundred thousand and then they ended up selling around 97.5. Okay. We had 10 homes that sold during the 30 to 60 day period. Their sold to list price ratio was 88.27%. We had four homes that sold in the 60 to 90 day range. Their list to sell price dropped to 82.5%. We had four homes that sold between the 90 and 120 day mark. They went all the way down to 78%. Okay, so let's talk about real numbers here. So if our average sales price is $331,775, and you were on the market for 90 to 120 days, meaning you only got 78% of what your list price was, that's going to take you down to about 274. Okay, pretty good little price drop. Do you not agree? So that's why I tell my sellers, it's so important that we price your home correctly the first time. Because if you overprice a home in today's market, it's not going to be a simple fix unless you do a drastic price drop within about 30 days of being on the market. And you can see that the average time on market for price drops was 55 days. Medium was 50 days. People are waiting too long to reduce those prices. So I tell my sellers when we have our listing appointment, I'm like, look, the first two weeks are going to be the most crucial. If we're not getting showings, then we're overpriced. If we're getting showings, but we're not getting offers, we're overpriced and we're going to have to make an adjustment fast so that you're not sitting on the market for a prolonged period of time. The longer you sit on the market, the less your house is going to sell for. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Yes, we are still in a seller's market right now because we do have low inventory, but buyers are a lot more picky especially when they're facing 6% interest rates. So they're not going to overpay for a house. They can, because with the 6% interest rate, their mortgage payments are much you know, higher than they would have been back in 2021. 
Right now in Hamlin County, we have 147 homes active and available for sale. Those sale prices range anywhere from $135,000 all the way up to $3 million. That's that home in Windswept that's still sitting there. We've got 92 homes that are under contract. So, have you thought about selling your home and want to get it done before the end of the year? You still have time, okay? We've got four months left in 2024. That's plenty of time to sit down with me. Let's come up with a plan and let's get your home sold so that you can go into 2025 in a brand new home yourself. Send me a DM, leave a comment below. Let's get a conversation scheduled for the next week to 10 days and see how we can help you get your home sold in 2024.